completely so. awful. Yeah. <laughs> now we have the ambient lighting. I have Pokeball. We're all good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I'm less scared to DM because there's no lights on. <laughs> we can't see how bad we fuck up. <laughs> If All you right. need to plug your phone into my laptop, you can. If that's easier for it for you. Because <laughs> I have a USB port on the side right there. Cool. Y'all right. ready, I guess? Yeah. All right. Ready when you are. Yes, sir. All right. So, Cecily. Yeah? You've been traveling for about 10 days now. Okay. Going towards the closest known city. Unfortunately, though, it's around a large mountain range that centers the continent known as Dofgoa. Okay. The first two days were through the forest surrounding your home and heading north, heading north through the trees and the leaves. They blocked the harsh wind and the coolness of the incoming, oncoming winter. Yeah, there we go. Mm-hmm. Oncoming winter. But eventually, snow catches up to you on day four. It took five days total to reach the tipped end of the mountain range, heading north. And trying to keep yourself warm, you've made fires among lonely lights and out- out- outcroppings of trees or small caves along the bottom. Since then, you've started to head southwest on a desolate path towards the city. And you've not seen many creatures along the way, apart from a stray wolf from its pack. It seemed too scared to get anywhere near. Aww. <laughs> well, That's adorable. Seemed scared at first, at least. I won't pressure it. <laughs> On day eight, the snow starts to reveal more greenery beneath. So now you're heading southwest. Got it. Um, snow starts to reveal more greenery greenery beneath. Even flowers are found to cling to life down here. And you find yourself sweating more than shivering once again, which is probably pretty nice. Yeah. The only voice you've heard throughout this long trek is your own, possibly reciting some poetry or singing to try to stay positive on this long trek. Absolutely. Though you've heard whispers of something else. Though... It's probably just the wind and rustling trees, right? Today's day 10, and you're still following a very thin, bare path along the mountainside. Reaching taller grass and fields on your right. Feeling a bit hopeless and weary from these long, day- these long days, you decide to give a good squint in the distance and far off. And into the distance, and far off, you finally see something. Buildings? Pace quickens a bit, trying to get a better look, just a little bit closer. More mountains? No, not more mountains. Not big enough. Further, you get down the road trying to get a better look. Pillars surrounded by a large wall, thousands of feet across. That's it. That's it. <laughs> or do you like? Do you uh? Do you start like rushing towards? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you start rushing or towards the path into uh. Now the path is more of a clear path towards the city. It's not like uh, it's not like thin dirt kind of. Okay. Maybe a couple people, a few people, a few dozen people have walked on it. It's not like oh okay, there's some been some traffic here throughout the years. Um, Exportation. Yeah. <laughs> um, you carry on that path. Very tall grass surrounds you on both sides. It's like almost as tall as you, like chest level to your whatever height you are, five something. Yes, I'm five, five something. Yeah. I um, check that for you. You don't have to. That's okay. I will while you speak. All right. <laughs> now, before Warren says you're British, I will follow British, and that is not by any of my own volition. <laughs> Just do gruff voice. Go, go, Got it, though. Go, 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 go. I can't do a gruff voice that well, anyway. I sound like an old man. Anyways. <laughs> um, the very tall grass surrounds both, both sides of you. I'm five eight. Five eight. So the, you're. It's about like four and a half feet tall, five feet okay. tall grass. It's pretty tall grass. Like it's a lot of empty plains and fields. Tall grass. Um. Sorry, lost my face for a second. That's okay. Very tall grass surrounds both both sides of you as you carry on this path. You see the city. You're excited. The voices act up again. Just just the wind, right? Just the wind. You quicken your pace once again, just just, just in case it isn't. Murmurs and giggling. <laughs> now I, I'm, I'm looking around nope. myself a bit. Definitely not the wind. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> what you got in that bag of yours? <laughs> Nothing. H- hello? You look around, and you see... 
three goblins emerging from the tall grass. Ah, nice to meet you. Still almost a good foot below the height of it, tall grass, so easily concealed. I'm frightened. They're just smiling, giggling at you. <laughs> they have, slowly, they're drawing daggers. Slowly backing up. Like the goblins no, no, no. Thank God. Slowly backing up. Mm-hmm. Where are you I'm off to? <laughs> I'm just off to the city. I have no business with you. You have no business with me. All right. Belazer. Belazer? Belazer. Uh, Balazar. 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 It's so much like Salazar. I know. All right. Balazar. Today is your last day of City Watch. Uh, it's been a long day, though yes. your shift is almost over. <laughs> it's been a long, uneventful day, though your partner that's supposed to be out with you on the far perimeter watch that you're on right now didn't show today. Oh. Fucking Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally fucking Jimmy. Well, that's not your problem. He's he's probably going to get in trouble with the captain, but eh, today's your last day. Today it's, you know, partly cloudy with some sunshine beating through. As you watch along and protect the far path of Ophayop and its partner town, Calcian. You can see the Dofkoa mountain range a few miles away, and the city is about a mile behind you. High guard towers with large stone wall protecting many many within. Walking along the path waiting for, for your leave from the city watch, it's, it's about that time, about that time of the day, you notice something a few hundred feet out. Uh, a bunch of rustling bushes... More so than the wind. The wind is a little more calmer today. Closer, and you approach, and you see a fight happening. Three goblins teaming up on a humanoid. Oh, that's nice. Oh. And you can hear the laughter of them in the background. Like, <laughs> Upon basically. seeing this, Balazar is going to pull out like a little my game. He's going to pull out. He's going to pull out his. I guess we'll start with his mace. Okay, so she's like a few hundred feet away yeah, from he you. He pulls out his mace and he go, he rushes in. Starts rushing in. Yeah. Okay. Is he not on the wall? No. He's no, he's on a far perimeter out. Uh, far perimeter. Is he just walking on the ground? Yeah, there's just the there's wall. like a path along the city on the far oh, perimeter. Okay, and he's just keeping out. See if anything gets in, kind yes, of thing. Yes, I see. Yes, right. and he sees an innocent around with three goblins surrounding her. Yep. So of course he's gonna go in and help. And they start approaching you. I'm guessing you're probably trying to run. I'm yes, I'm backing up okay. quite quickly. <laughs> so I'd like both of your own initiative. Got it. That's an eight. Because I had no bonus. That's fine. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> wow, awesome. <laughs> it's, it's rough. It's rough. We're being, doing really good. Being level one. Yep. Sure, we'll go with this music. You know it so well. Okay, so. We're in a bit of trouble, I see. It's so good fight music, though. All right, so. Yeah, I might want to turn it down. Just a bit. All right. Just a bit. I'm sorry, I'm going to mock your British voice. But it's not a part of the year. It's gonna... because I love... Please don't mock mine. We're not going to mock it. I'm just going to copy it. It's going to copy it. it it's going to come out. I've been working real hard on it. So. I can run that, All right, Gentle. so... Of course, my baby. You, so you had a bit, of, a bit too much flourish. I know. I do have a bit too much yeah. flourish. I go Scottish, though, so very quickly. <laughs> um... I guess I should roll for the goblins, huh? Do you want an initiative tracker? No, nah, man, it's good. Okay. It's good. Sure, I have a link. Oh my it. god, these goblins. All right. Um, so the goblins are going first. Obviously. Um. Are you sure you don't want an initiative? I'm gonna say that you're about like. So let's say you're catching up. You're about probably maybe thirty feet away from her. And you're about 30 feet away from the goblins in front of you. So you're on a path, tall grass beside you, you're running down the path. You see, would you like to describe yourself to her? You see a very tall and very clunky 
just fitting. You can tell there's been some growing pains. Okay. Armor. A black dragonborn coming towards you. Ha! <laughs> um. He was like six feet tall. I see. That would that would frighten me a but bit. But you probably got a crest on yeah, your chest. Yeah, he has, of he has armor. a city watch crest. Um, it seems pretty. He seems like. He seems pretty. Legit. Pretty official, yeah. Okay, that'll give me a good. If sign. you've ever even maybe seen a city, which you haven't, well, you the city you're from probably has some guards with Inside. attire of similar. Inside check. I don't know. That's not. I, it's not my call. I'm not the DM. No, it's, it's okay. okay. I, I see your logo, and I, I'm like, oh, okay. He. He's all right. <laughs> um, and he's like rushing at you, basically. Let me just fight myself. Yes. And then you. Who is he? Who is he rushing towards to see? He's rushing towards. Um, you see that my ears are pointed. Uh, they're not quite long though. They're just pointed. Um, but I'm not. I'm not terribly short. I'm just five foot eight. Um, I'm wearing a kind of. Uh, a mix matchy dress that seems to have been sewn together with different materials. I've, I've got pictures I can show you later, but we're kind of in an intense situation. Um, <laughs> I have long, light pink hair, like pastel pink. It's braided to one side. I have flowers braided all throughout it, and I'm wearing them proudly. Um, my eyes, are, you can't see my eyes from there. <laughs> um, I'm wearing, you might see, they're pretty widened at this point, probably. I'm wearing nice boots, uh, about knee high. Uh, my my skirt is pretty long. Oh, oh you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, I've got leather here and there, just to help protect myself, because I have terrible armor class. <laughs> and... Uh, you see, I, I'm wearing a cloak, um, and underneath the cloak there seems to be like a, a bag and other things, and perhaps something that looks long. Um, so yeah, who's first in... Uh, the goblins are. The goblins are? So, okay. yeah. They're, uh... How far behind? So I, I'm turned towards the goblins. You to her, 30 feet. Okay. You turn towards them? Yes. You're not running away I, from them? I, I'm, I was backing away. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yes. Alright, so they're like... Yeah. You know, like, I, heard, I heard him coming. Oh yeah, you can glance hear him back, and yeah. then glance back when I saw the the logo and was like, oh okay, he's all right. I mm-hmm. should keep my eyes on the goblins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's very clunky. Yeah, right. all they have right now, like they're just coming at you with like uh, their scimitars. Okay. Um, and they're just kind of like slowly approaching, and then they see you like backing away, and then they see him coming. They're like, oh shit, we gotta do this quick. And they're like, ah oh, shit, and then they just like rush at you, basically seeing if they can. Yeah, get anything out of yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they rush your approach. <laughs> Do I get an attack of opportunity since they don't see me coming? No, they, they see, see you coming. You're behind her. Yeah. Too far. Oh, I'm behind her. Okay. Too far. Um, so basically, they're just going to use... Uh, okay, sorry. Let's say they're 60 feet away from you, because that way they can dash towards you. Okay. And you're 60 feet from her. Does that sound fair? Yes. Okay. Since you're running in... They're coming around. Yeah, yeah. we'll they get there still... at the same time. Um, I'm assuming. Close. Alright, so they're going to rush towards you. Use their, <coughs> use their action to... Dashing. <coughs> they're dashing towards you, and then they're basically ready to... Three of them, so basically you're here, one's here, one's here, one's here. They're flanking you on this side, and there's one... They've got me flanked? Yeah, basically. Perfect. Yeah, so it's great. So, um, that was Goblin's turn. Yes. You rolled an eight? Yes, I did. It's your turn. Um, I'm 60 feet behind her. Yeah. So you could do run up 30 feet, or because I think your speed's 30. Yeah. 30. And I don't then, know this character that well. Like, that's fine. I haven't been using yet. Where is your speed? That was a good question. Where is my speed? 30 speed. There it is. Yeah, 30, 30 feet. feet. So I just I don't think I can dash or anything. So I run up 30 feet and actually. He'll run up 30 feet, and then... Can you attack from the fog? Yes, I can. <laughs> I just don't know how many times I can use this. Mm. Once. <laughs> no, we're going to throw a javelin. Okay. It works for me. Um, Roll to attack. Yes. 
Well, <laughs> two plus what? Three. All right, that uh, sails over just like just way too high, and they. He like, tried. <laughs> That's the only job he has. I should know that might not be. The they realize you're there for sure now. Yes. How many javelins do I have? I have five. Yeah, it goes through and goes, and then just <laughs> sticks in the ground. Am I next? Yeah, you're Are next. You done? Yes, he has no bonus actions. Work, works for me. They're surrounding on each side, and they're like ready to like yeah. come at you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so you see this girl pull out a quarter staff made of wood from her back. She grabs it with both hands, <laughs> cracks it down on the ground, and casts Thunder Wave. All right. Uh, no, I need to make a hole for that. It's a 15 feet cube. Then you yeah, probably. From me. <laughs> and you yeah, okay. probably. Uh, I just, why I wanted do you to stay back. Do they have... Do they have a uh, I'll try to 60 Because you threw a javelin. From, I run up 30 feet. No, I would not be in your cube. I'm far enough away. 50 feet. She's 30 feet away. Yeah, I'm still 30 um, feet 15 away. feet uh, constitution saving throw on a failed creature. 2d8 thunder damage. Okay. Um, 13. It's a beat 13? Yeah. All right, con saving throw. Come on, buddy. <laughs> a straight roll. There's one fail. That fell. That's another fail. And that's another fail. All right, so roll damage. Okay. <laughs> so they take the full damage. damage. I think it's 2d8. 2d8, yes. Damage. And they're pushed 10 feet away from me. Gotcha. All right. That's a so, nice fail. Yeah. Um, I would say... Are all three going to get the same damage? Just in for fun. Maybe. They're on... Uh, so probably the path's, what, 25 feet across? It's a wide path. So they're both on the edge of all grass. One away. Sorry? They're um, at that point basically... I, what I, said. I can't remember either. I'm sorry. Damn. Oh, same damage for all three. Yeah, same damage yeah, for okay. all three. Because they all failed. Yeah. Okay. It was ten. Ten damage? Yeah. Alright. Damn cool. Um, okay. All of them looking pretty weak already. Um Awesome. <laughs> they are both like clinging to life, now shocked and like Ugh, and they're just like pushed back. They like like a couple of them tumble backwards and do like a back somersault and they just stand and they're like wobbly yeah. and like oh shit yeah and Cecily's like yeah yeah that's right I told you I have no business with you <laughs> and then uh, one's like like coughing spits up a bit of blood <sighs> and I'm just gonna basically get ready to attack again okay um <laughs> alright I guess it's the goblin's turn now yeah um do they have them make a saving throw from, or is it just thunder damage? They already made a saving throw. Okay. They're, they're pushed 10 feet back. For sure. okay. Um, I'm pretty sure they're pushed 10 feet back regardless. Yeah, they but are. But it's just half as damage. Long as, yeah, okay. as long as they failed the, the save, the constitution saving throw, I should then... know they're paralyzed from that. No, they're not paralyzed. I just kind of did that for flavor. So in addition, there's a little shock. And like, in addition, unsecured objects that are completely within the area of the effect are automatically pushed ten feet away from you from the spell's effect. So, the and emit a thunderous the boom audible to three hundred feet. Okay. So a lot of people <coughs> just heard me do that. Yeah, yeah. basically. Including you. Yes. <laughs> going to be very confused for a moment. It, yeah. <laughs> Um, alright. <laughs> the one in front of you probably hit the javelin that's sticking on the ground, and then it was also pushed back, so it's still on the ground over there. Okay. Um, but he gets up, he's the one who spit, and now he's just going to charge you. He runs ten okay. feet, and he's going to take a swipe at you. Alright. Um, I wish I had a high armor class. <laughs> I'm so weak. Um, what is... I'm so weak, Katie. Okay, I'll help you. <laughs> Um, that's a 17. Oh, no, uh, uh, yeah. Basically, they're just going to rush, all three of them are going to rush back towards you and attack you. Okay. Um, so one hits. Um, one is at 11. No. All right, that one misses. You just parry out of the way as you're going to take the yeah, other one. Yeah, I'm trying to dodge. 
And that one is a 10, and that also misses. Yes. All right, so... One so only one just like, You're just, like, dodging both of them, and then the one in front of you just stabs you. Like, Ugh. Um, yeah, it's hard to dodge three, three times. things at the same time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, agreed. So take uh, <laughs> eight damage. Eight? Yep. So you roll max damage. Sorry? You roll max damage. I did. Oh, so. boy. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, it's okay. So sad to apply those challenges. Okay. All right, and... Uh, I'm not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> that's their turn. All right, as Balazar uh, dashes the next 30 feet, 30 feet yeah. he notices that this girl is not looking so good, mm-hmm. and... Uh, but kind she put up a great fight. fight. <laughs> she tried really freaking hard. He just kind of like rests a hand on her shoulder and goes, "Let me." And oh. cast <laughs> and cast or uses lay on hands to heal five hit points. All five. 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 Yeah, boy. Thank you. Incredible. You feel a surge of warm. Uh, radiant energy full through you, and you're just like, and you're just like, the wound heals on the front of your chest, and you're like, oh man, I'm not bleeding so much anymore. Yeah. <laughs> still a bit bloody, but still good. It's like someone slashed you and not stabbed you now. It's like you're having the worst day, and then your grandma's like, yeah, here's some cookies. Have a homemade cookie yeah. just for you. It's a little better. <laughs> you're still having a bad still day. Still crying, but it's still good. But it's way better. Absolutely. <laughs> Balazar, at this point, um, moves in front of um, Seth Lee and pulls out his shield. Okay. Oh, yeah, because that was your action, and then you're just basically ready. Yeah, basically. Okay. Alright. Um, in the distance, both of you hear. Oh, oh I immediately and, look around. <laughs> and. Despite the fact that there's a goblin in front of you, you look a little past him and you just you just see oh. like you see this white uh white silver wolf. White silver. Yeah, it's like silvery white. Oh. Um, translucent. Rushing. Yeah, uh, not translucent. It's oh it's physical. <laughs> it's okay. It's beautiful. May he have red eyes. If you want to know. It'd be like a super red albino. Eyes. Super albino. Can I have red eyes? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. So basically, he's rushing in. You just like you're, and then. Basically lunges at the one that's right in front of you. And then obviously Balazar kind of like, not unsure what he's doing, is kind of like moving his shield kind of towards what the fuck's happening. Yeah. Uh, so so you're thing. here. <laughs> so you're here basically. Cecily's here. Yeah. Goblin, goblin, goblin. Wolf's coming this way. Okay. So. Um, well, Balazar just knows there's a wolf coming. So yeah, that's he's it. Like, what the fuck's going on? Um. So basically, it's gonna come up and just like lunge and try and pin the uh, pin the goblin. I guess I'm gonna roll a strength check to see if we can do that. Um, okay. Okay, so he pins the goblin to the ground and then just lunges into him with a bite across his face. Um, that is so endeared to this wolf. Unfortunately, the goblin was just like. It's ready, already on the last limbs, push it away before it could bite, but it still got it pinned down to the ground still and prone. still got it. still trying to bite it. Um sorry. <laughs> Restart it. <laughs> um sorry. All right. Um so it is now the goblin's turn. Um turn. All right. Turn. Right, go ahead. Oh, it's Sorry. my turn already? Sorry. All right. Because you just went and then yeah, the wolf came. Action. Gotcha. Yeah. All my right. bad, sorry. Okay. Basically, that wolf that you uh, saw um, al- oh. along along the way decided to be not so scared <coughs> of you after all. That's adorable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Maybe some of the sounds you were hearing along the way were actually just the wolf. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna use 